The 2019 Ford Escape Titanium. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to cover the titanium trim of the 2019 Ford Escape, all the standard as well as optional equipment, and we're going to have timestamps as well as those package prices down in the description down below if you're watching this on YouTube. So this is going to be a very thorough video that uh, you can always uh, refer back to. Save it as a, a favorite there. Uh, go ahead and hit that, that like button, and that way you can make sure you save it there and you'll have this video in your record, especially if you're doing some research on escape this is going to be a complete guide so i will go over about every standalone option or every all the standard equipment as well as all the different this uh, package uh, that is available for this as well as standalone options so a uh, very thorough video we even kind of talk about all those different numbers as well so this might be a little long video so use those timestamps to move around on the video first let's go ahead and talk about some of the safety features on this this has all the same safety features as the S, SE, and SEL have. Uh, so you're going to have that personal safety system with those airbags, the dual stage airbags in the front for the driver and front passenger. That deploys a different size airbag, depends on how close you are to the uh, front of the vehicle. Also, you're going to have side impact airbags that are going to be on the side of those seats that will deploy if you have that side collision. Uh, you will also, the driver will have a knee airbag too, so that's going to deploy down from that steering column to pre protect your knees in case you have that front collision there. Also, safety canopy airbags are going to come down with a roll stability control and those rollover sensors, so that way if you, the vehicle does start to roll over, it's going to deploy those airbags down from the top of the roof there, protecting occupants, not only the front seats, but also the back seats back there. So some great safety features. It does have advanced track with the roll stability control to help you keep you on your attendant path, even has curve control. So if you go into those, uh, those roads, those curves may be a little too fast, or if it maybe it's slick out, it's going to use a series of braking on the vehicle to keep you on your intended path. So we love that system. SOS post crash alert system as well that'll honk the horns or flash the lights if you are off the road and you're in an accident so people know that you want uh, that you need help. Uh, also it does have 911 assist along with the uh, sync uh, technology uh, where you connect your Bluetooth enabled phone and you're going to be able to call 911 directly instead of uh, having to re rely on OnStar or something like that. So uh, some great safety features on this vehicle. Uh, let's go ahead and now move to the front kind of talk about the engine that's available on this the vehicle as well as the different styling on the front. Now moving to the front, let's talk about first, this is available as standard equipment in your front wheel drive, or you can get the optional four wheel drive. And it is an intelligent four wheel drive. Basically it's like an auto four wheel drive all the time. So that way it's gonna go ahead, if there's any kind of slick driving roads or anything, it's gonna go ahead and, and have that four wheel drive uh, available. No shifting of anything uh, for you there. It's just gonna automatically do it for you intelligently. So that, that's gonna be available for you. Standard engine is gonna be the 2.0 liter four cylinder EcoBoost engine with auto start stop technology. Let me talk about the auto start stop. Basically what that means is when you pull up to stop light or stop sign, you press the brake, it's gonna go ahead and and shut the vehicle off. When you let go of the brake, before you even can transition over to the gas pedal, it's gonna go ahead and turn it back on. If that is something you don't like active going on and off like that on your trip, go ahead and just hit that little A that's on the dash there, close to your climate control, and it's gonna go ahead and deactivate it for that trip. It'll say that it's off there, and that way you don't have to worry about that doing that on and off for you. You will have to activate that on each trip, but it's pretty easy, it's just right there on the dash, easy to get to. Uh, you can even adjust it when you adjust your climate control there. Also, the 2.0 liter, let's talk about the, the uh, numbers on that. It's gonna have 245 horsepower, 275 pound-feet of torque. So pretty powerful. It is the only engine available on your titanium trim uh, and is the highest one there. So it is a really nice uh, engine. A lot of people go up to the titanium just for that engine there. Uh, I think that is an optional engine on your SEL but standard on your titanium. Now also this is going to come with a six-speed automatic transmission with select shift. And select shift means you can put it in that manual transmission there, put that shifter knob there in that S mode there, and it's going to go ahead and you'll be able to shift it like a manual transmission using the plus and minus right there beside the shifter knob there. So that's real nice and easy, especially if you're on those mountains, you might want to use that as you're coming down a steep mountain. Uh, if you're up high there, and this is why you're going to, you're going to want to use your select shift for that uh, reason there. So real nice having all those different technologies here. Also, this does have your e-pass, electronic power assist steering. And what that's gonna uh, do is in those parking lots, those, uh, when you're driving much slower, you're gonna be able to turn that steering wheel much easier getting into those parking spaces. As, but then on your highway, it's gonna go ahead and stiffen it up so that way that wind doesn't push you from side to side. So it's gonna be a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, harder uh, to steer in that sense. Also, this does have your active grill shutters. And the benefit of that, it's just like shutters in your house. It's gonna open those up and close them depending on where you're at and you're driving. So if you're in town, 
It's going to open those up, allow airflow into that engine to, to keep it cool and functioning well in town. And then when you get on the highway, it's going to close those up, have that air come around it, giving you that 20, that, that better fuel economy. And let's talk about the fuel economy right now. The uh, front wheel drive is going to come with about 22 miles per gallon in the city, 29 miles per gallon on the highway. And your all wheel drive saying it should be about 21 miles per gallon in the city and 27 miles per gallon on the highway. So, and that is all according to uh, fueleconomy.gov there. Let's talk about the styling now. Uh, the titanium does have a real nice grill up here, chrome bars here with a chrome surround and that silver bars in the middle there. So just a great a luxury look to the front of it. Your headlights here are gonna be an automatic HID headlights for you. Automatically comes on when it gets dark and turns off when it gets light if you have it in the auto setting on your headlights there. So real nice having that. Also LED signature lighting underneath that's going to light up. It's going to stay on all the time when you have your light, whether your lights or headlights are on or not. Those are non-configurable. They are nice LED lights under there that look real sharp. You also do have fog lights down here. That is actually standard equipment from the SE on up. So you'll have your fog lights at your availability there. Also does have the silver front skid plate up there. So that silver uh, painted down there just again makes that uh, really pop up there on the front of it, give it a nice uh, luxury look to it. it. Does have front sensing system as well as side and your back. Standard equipment on your titanium is the enhanced active park assist, giving you all those sensors. So it's more of a perimeter uh, alarm system as you're backing up and everything, but you can also use it to help you parallel park your vehicle reverse perpendicular park your vehicle and park out. So I do have a video under our, on our YouTube channel under the how-to videos, exactly how the system works. So it's an outside as well as an inside perspective on in all three of these uh, features on this. And it's great because it takes care of all the steering. Uh, you control the gas and the brake, even helps you find those parking spaces as well. Not only the, the parallel parking spaces, but also the per reverse perpendicular parking spaces. So real nice system and how that works and definitely check out that video. Also standard equipment is going to be the windshield wiper de-icers. Uh, what's the benefit of that is that in the winter time, at least here in Kansas, a lot of times when it's cold, you can defrost that windshield. Uh, it's going to clear all that, that snow and ice off of your windshield. But it leaves those wipers wet and then still in the winter time driving on the highway it's going to freeze up those windshield wipers and then you have to get out you have to kind of break the ice off of there with the windshield de-icers de you won't have to do that they're still going to be functional in those situations if it's still raining or sleeting or maybe even snowing uh, you're going to be able to use those wipers that way also laminated glass here on the windshield as well as the side windows keeps it a lot cool a lot quieter inside so that way you can have that conversation with the person beside you now as so I move around to the uh, side over here, you're going to see the standard wheel, which is a 19 inch. Uh, it is the machine faced aluminum wheel with that luster nickel painted spokes and pockets. So real nice looking wheel as an upgrade and you're going to really see that when you upgrade to this titanium with this wheel. Over here on the side, you're going to see the uh, applique here on, on the fender over here. It is chrome accented with the black molded in black in the middle there. Your mirrors, body colored mirror cap, also does have the turn signal indicator on the outside here. Security approach something that's gonna also light the ground beside you when you use that keyless entry as you're approaching or the intelligent access, which we're gonna talk about in just a little bit. You have power heated glass as well, so in the winter time it's gonna defrost that glass and you're gonna have the integrated blind spot mirror and that's the angled mirror that so you can see the vehicles in your blind spot just a little bit better there. Also on here you're gonna have, as we mentioned, intelligent access, so leave that key fob in your pocket. Just put your hands in the door handle. It's gonna automatically unlock the vehicle. Allow you to get in and out of the vehicle easier. Press the little knob over here and it's gonna lock it up for you. Uh, so you don't have to take the keys out of your pocket and you'll show you where the push button start is. So when you get inside, you won't have to get the keys out to start it either. It does have keypad here on the pillar. It's an invisible keypad so you can have your own special code. And the benefit of that is if you wanna leave the key inside or maybe you don't have the keys on you but you need to access the vehicle, you can use your own special code to be, get in and out of the vehicle that way. You'll see the nice chrome uh, belt line molding here, as well as the silver roof rack rails up here. So that's a great luxury look here on the side of it. Molded in black on the lower rocker molding. SUVs uh, tend to sit a little higher. They get a little more rock chips up. So that kind of protects it so that way it doesn't chip the paint of it having any kind of rust problems or any kind of flaking of the paint that way. Also privacy glass here in these back windows as well as the back glass keeps it cooler for everyone inside. Just looks nicer as well on the vehicle too. Uh, so some great benefits here around the vehicle. I think even remote start is going to be standard equipment for you. Uh, so I'll give you a clip of the remote here so you can see that but you'll see that little uh, red round symbol at the top there is going to be your remote start. So you just lock it, press that twice and it's going to remote start the vehicle. 
press and hold the top button and it'll shut that off so that way it's not running so real nice having that and uh, the you know the key is in the back there hidden in the back so if you need to, to get that if your battery's dead you have the key and, and that key fob as well right there so great features here on the side but let's continue to the back now moving to the back, you kind of have a rear spoiler look back here. It's body colored up here, a center high mounted stop light up there, rear defrost with rear wiper here. Uh, I do like the pieces that are on the side over here. They're kind of a high gloss black finish, no matter what color vehicle you have. You are going to have these nice, uh, your halogen tail lights back here uh, that kind of wrap around here. You also do have your rear view camera. Uh, so as you're backing up, you're going to be, be able to see behind you. And don't forget the reverse sensing. So you have that perimeter with that goes along with the side and the front sensors there. So you're going to be alert as you're backing up to. Right down here, you can see the silver that I call out the rear skid plate. So that's kind of a, a painted in a silver there for that with your molded in above that where those sensors are at. Chrome tip, dual exhaust under here. So give it a nice look as well with this SUV. And this does have a power lift gate. So you can use the button under here. You can press it there. You can use your remote as well, or you can use your foot. It does have hands-free uh, foot activated lift gate. So just give it a kick there in the middle and it's going to open up just like that. So back up and you're going to be able to open that up here. Now, one uh, thing you may not notice, know about this, but you can adjust the height on this so where it stops. Uh, when you just get it, if you're a little bit shorter, you might want it down a little bit further. You just press and hold the power lift gate button up here to close it, press and hold it, and it's going to go ahead and just uh, uh, leave it there. We're going to go ahead and take it all the way to the top. It should beep, there it goes. So in here, you can see it's carpeted in the floor as well as those seat backs and it kind of helps with noise there. So that way it makes it a little bit quieter. Those seats can lay down as well as recline back. Right now they're kind of more of an upright position. Also I'll show you a clip right now where it actually one of those seats is reclined. So you can see the difference in how far back it can recline um, back in that seat. Also of course fold them forward so you have a flat load level in there. Be able to put some things, longer things in this cargo area here. Does come standard equipment with your carpeted mats. Footwells not only in the front seat, but also the back seat. So they're right here. We're going to go ahead and move those off to the side because I'm going to show you underneath the bottom of this. There's a handle here. You just open it up. That's where you're going to see your spare tire. But also you're going to see some organization compartments in there where you can store some smaller things in there, kind of under here, hidden if you need to. But also that way they won't roll around too much uh, having them in these little compartments as well. So uh, that uh, is a little uh, something a lot of other people don't show you uh, having those little storage areas in there. There's a little uh, light back here so you can see inside there as well as there's a 110 outlet or I'm not a 110 I'm sorry a PowerPoint <laughs> 12 volt PowerPoint back there as well there's gonna be I think three or four PowerPoints in the vehicle and so I'll point them out as we go throughout the video so uh, real nice having a pretty good amount of storage really for an escape and you can always fold those seats down giving you even more cargo room so let's go ahead and put these back in here and shut this lift gate and then we'll move inside and show you some of the features on the inside now we're moving to the interior here and there are two color interiors that are available for your titanium trim and one of them is going to be your medium light stone interior so that's kind of your your grayish or your tannish your lighter of the two colors uh, regardless your cabin interior is going to be uh, ebony with uh, some also some ebony finish uh, and i'm going to show you a clip in just a second of the dash but for right now you can kind of see also from that clip that i'm showing you off of ford's website uh, the seats are also that, that lighter interior here now this being the ebony interior it's going to be like what you're seeing now so i'm going to give you a close-up of the dash at this point so you can see what the ebony interior looks like and how it's going to look different than the medium light stone so real nice look across there you're going to see some high gloss finish on the you know on your audio controls as well as on both sides of the instrument panel or the center stack i should say uh, so real nice look interior nice chrome accents on the handles as well and then your leather seating services so give you a close-up of those uh, front bucket seats with uh, leather seating dual power seats uh, driver and front passenger including power uh, lumbar and power recline heated seats for the driver and front passenger up here as well so uh, great seating configure configuration here back seat also gets leather seating 60 40 split bench seat you do have an armrest that comes in the middle backrest with a couple cup holders back there and behind the console you're going to also see a 110 outlet as well as your vents for your air conditioning and your heat coming back there here on the door you have your power windows locks mirror switches including auto one touch for those front windows driver memory as well for the driver's seat as well as the the mirrors and your uh i think uh yeah your mirrors and your seat on this it does have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel so it'll go you just pull that lever under there it'll go up and down forward and back for you 
uh, you can get it just right that way. Uh, here on the uh, left side of the steering wheel, you're going to see a, a D-pad there that's going to control the screen in between your speedometer and your attack there, a 4.2 inch productivity screen there. And then below that is where you're going to see your cruise control. And this is going to look a little different than the standard cruise control because this is actually a package we're going to talk about in just a little bit here, but you will have your uh, standard cruise control there. And the D-pad on the right side of the steering wheel is going to control volume controls, some audio controls, making and receiving phone calls using uh, that sync technology right there. You're going to see the push button start just to the left over here of your climate control. And then moving to your climate, you're going to have a dual zone auto climate control. So the driver and front passenger are going to have two different temperatures. You'll see your heated seat buttons are right there as well. And then you're going to also see some controls there too. There is a control right below that for the heated steering wheel. Standard equipment, leather wrap heated steering wheel on your titanium trim. So that's a great upgrade for you there. And then you're going to also see the switches here for your active park assist and reverse sensing and your traction control right there too. Now let's talk about your climate control. It is a 10 speaker Sony audio sound system with a HD radio Sirius XM satellite radio as well. You have an 8-inch eight, uh, touch screen there with, uh, where you can use a Microsoft Sync. Uh, it's not Microsoft. It's going to be your Sync 3 system. Sorry. That's a third generation voice enhanced system there where you can make and receive phone calls, control your audio through there, your climate. Uh, also, navigation is standard equipment on your Titanium. So it's going to have the pinch and zoom capabilities, the Sirius XM traffic and travel length as well. Uh, all those uh, features are going to go along with that. And that's where you're going to see your backup camera coming to view on that full 8-inch screen right there in the middle of your dash. And then up here on the mirror, you do have an auto dimming rear view mirror. Uh, so you do have on the visor garage door openers for three different garage doors. It works for any transmitter. So garage doors, gates, whatever has a transmitter will work with the home link system there. On this overhead console, you have a little bin there for those sunglasses there uh, to be able to put those in. And then you're going to see the lights on both sides there. Uh, so that's a great equipment there. Now let's talk about this console area. There's some great benefits here as well. One of those being a power point down in here. So there's two power points in the vehicle, one in the cargo area and one here. And then you're going to have a USB port as well. And you can use that USB to actually plug in your, your smartphones. This does have Android, Apple, or Android Auto and Apple CarPlay with this. So that way you can plug in and use those interfaces with this 8-inch uh, screen here. So that's uh, a lot of people really enjoy that. Also a little uh, uh, tray there to be able to put your phone down there if you want to plug those in, uh, being able to put it right there. A little spot down here maybe for coins, that kind of thing, as well as you do have your cup holders. You'll see in those cup holders it does have ambient lighting. Right now it's in that blue color. It's going to light up the cup holders, the footwells, as, a, as well as the door handles. When you have those doors open, they're going to light up red instead of whatever your ambient color is. So that way cars passing you can see that that, that door is open there. Uh, and then you can change the colors using in the Microsoft Sync, or uh, keep saying Microsoft, in that Sync uh, screen there, you can go ahead and change the ambient lighting uh, settings through there uh, for the different colors right here. And then it, you, you have a little compartment in front of the console here. Now this does have two levers on it, one on the left and one on the right. If we press the one on the right, it's going to leave this tray down where you can, a little smaller shallow tray to put some smaller items in, keys, whatever it might be. Uh, looks like there may be even a slot there for a pen or pencil there. If you press the one on the left, it actually holds that tray up against that console. And so you have a deeper compartment in there with another USB port. Uh, right in there, we can charge smartphones with two slots for cords uh, for a cord to come through, whether it be for the driver or for the front passenger over there. So uh, great equipment. Now, everything we talked about is a standard equipment. There is one package I want to talk about that is optional for you. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about that next. Now, we, before we talk about the optional packages available, I do want to talk about something else that is standard equipment on all your uh, titanium trimmed uh, escapes, and that is the Ford Pass Connect. It is going to be part of the features with this uh, standard equipment on your titanium. And I love the Ford Pass Connect. It's a great way to, for you to stay connected to the vehicle using the Ford Pass app. So it's a free app you download. You have your own special code. You have to then connect your vehicle, put the VIN number in, and then you connect your vehicle using the modem uh, on the vehicle to stay connected and be able to use so many great features using that app. One of those that I really like is to be able to remote start your vehicle from anywhere. Even if you're too far away from the vehicle, you use your key fob, you can remote start it using the app. So it's a great way to, uh, to do that. You can also schedule remote start times, which is uh, another feature that I like because I tend to forget to start my vehicle in the winter time uh, in the morning. And so this is a great way to get it, make sure it's going to start up in the morning at a certain time. You can program it for weekdays, also weekends. If there are different times, you can set up several different remote start times. You can also unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere. It comes in handy if you want maybe someone left something in your vehicle or something you want to unlock the vehicle you can do that without having to leave work or, or anything and you can say yeah I unlocked it for you 
and then you can lock it back up too. So that's a, a great way to actually unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere in case you forgot to, uh, to lock your vehicle up. Also, you can uh, see locate your vehicle from anywhere. So if you're in that stadium or that concert, you come out, you can't remember where you parked your vehicle, you can use the map to locate your vehicle. Uh, so that's a great uh, benefit as well. And then you can schedule service through there. You can do so many other things. See the, the, uh, the life of the information of your vehicle, like the tire pressure, like the fuel economy or fuel the gauge that you have, how much fuel you have in your vehicle. Uh, you can also see when you need to get your next oil change and everything, and even schedule oil changes through the app too. So great way, definitely recommend that you not only uh, go ahead and put your vehicle in there, definitely make sure you connect it to the modem so that way you can get that. And another benefit of that that's, that's an extra cost for you if you want to do that is the Wi-Fi hotspots, which you're going to have as well to be able to stay connected uh, to the vehicle up to 10 different devices is in here to the Wi-Fi on this. It does cost the extra. I think they afford it said $20 a month uh, through AT&T to get that unlimited plan. So if you do a lot of traveling out of town, you, that's a great way, especially for the family to stay connected to that and maybe use less data that way. Uh, only 20 bucks a month is a pretty good deal on that. So uh, again, another feature that is going to be standard equipment on all your titaniums. There is uh, two packages that are available on your titanium trim and the first one to talk about is the Ford Safe and Smart Titanium Plus Package. Uh, so if you've seen some of the other videos, there's a Ford Safe and Smart Package. This includes a couple other features as well, so that's what the plus means there. So let's go ahead and talk about some of those. One of the uh, features we kind of talked about on that cruise control is the adaptive cruise control with stop and go does have the uh, brake support as well as the forward collision all combined together. So the way that works is if you have your cruise set, uh, you can control the gap and if you come up behind someone, they're going slower than you, you'll slow down to go their speed until you pass them and it'll speed you back up or if they resume. So it even comes to a complete stop. So it'll, it'll stop you as well. And then you can, and if they take off, then you can start speeding up. So that's a nice, you don't have to you know, use your brakes so much. The brake support also works if you don't have your cruise set. If you're, the car is stopped in front of you, going much slower than you, and not handing your brake, it alerts you with lights on the dash in a series of tones that you need to stop and even initiates and help with the brake support to go along with that. So great system there. Also, this does have your lane keeping system. And there's three features within that system one of those is your driver alert. So the driver alert knows if you're leaving your hands off the steering wheel, uh, if you're not paying attention, uh, if you continue to do that, it'll give you some alerts on the dash telling you that you need to put your hands on the steering wheel, even some tones that you're, you've hit, take your hands off the steering wheel. Uh, so that's part of this. Also, you get your lane keeping assist and your lane keeping alert. So let's talk about the alert first. The alert means that when you go ahead and leave your lane, start leaving your lane, it's gonna vibrate the steering wheel and let you know that you have left your lane. So that's a, as, as you're leaving the lane, it'll vibrate that steering wheel. Also, the, uh, the assist part of that actually keeps you in your lane. So it uses torque vectoring, so you get close to those lines, it's gonna use torque vectoring to bring you back in. It does need to know the lines, so you'll see those lighting up green to let you know that it knows that there's lines on both sides. Uh, and so sometimes some of those lines are faded, it won't always work, so don't just count on that as, as working, um, but it's a pretty good system that I, I found very convenient for me as well, especially in those windy days when you're on the highway that way. Also, this does have your auto high beams. Now, auto high beams work a lot like your automatic headlights. So when there's no one in front of you, it's dark outside, it's gonna turn those high beams on for you automatically. And then if somebody approaches you or if in the city streets, it's gonna turn them off. And that is a feature that you can deactivate in your settings screen as well uh, within that right there. Also, you do have the rain sensing wipers up here. Another thing you can activate and deactivate in your settings screen, when you have your wiper on the auto setting, it's gonna automatically turn those wipers on when it starts to rain. It does have a sensor right up here uh, that it lets you know uh, that it, it's raining and go ahead and, and wipe it. If it starts raining uh, a little harder, it's going to wipe even faster. So I love the rain sensing wipers go uh, real nicely with the windshield wiper de-icers. Also, the Bliss system, the blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. And so the way that system works, if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up, if someone's going to cross your path behind you, it's going to put a light in the corner of the mirror from the side they're coming from, puts a message on the dash telling you if they're coming from the left or the right in a series of tones that it's not safe to back up. Love the uh, cross traffic alert. It goes uh, real nicely with the bullet system. Now, the bullet system works whether you have your cruise set or not. So in town, on the highway, whatever it might be, you're going to be able to see if someone's in your blind spot. And the last feature I want to talk about is the panoramic vista roof. And this is the plus, where the plus comes in hand. So you have that panoramic vista roof, that nice glass roof up here with the power sunshade that opens all the way up and the, the moon roof that also will open too for you. So everyone can enjoy that, not just those in the front, but also those people in the back seat. 
Now we're going to talk about two last standalone options before we get into accessories. Uh, first one is going to be your uh, 2.0 EcoBoost Class 2 Trailer Tow Package. Now this package, of course, uh, is going to include your Class 2 receiver hitch, so you can have, uh, be able to have that in there, be able to tow any kind of that little trailer there. Also it's going to come with trailer sway control, and it's going to come with your auxiliary transmission oil cooler and you're going to get up to towing capacity of 3,500 pounds with that package there. Also, uh, with this, uh, you can also, as optional equipment, get the engine block heater. So we see that in about all the vehicles, so that's where you can go ahead and plug it in using an extension cord of, of your own uh, to be able to keep that, that engine warmed up in the wintertime, especially if you, live, if you have that parked outside, not in the garage. Uh, that's going to come in real handy in those cold weather states for you. So those are our optional equipment. Now we're going to talk about some different accessories you can get on your Escape. Now we're going to talk about accessories that you can order either from the factory and they're going to be shipped to the dealership ahead of time and they'll put them on for you or you can order them from the, your Ford parts department or your aftermarket department there. Uh, three on the outside, three on the inside makes it pretty easy. So the first one I'll talk about are the splash guards. Splash guards are something especially if you live on dirt roads or out in the country that you might want to put on your SUV especially if you're afraid that rocks are going to kick up on the side of your vehicle. That'll help keep those uh, rocks down uh, and off of your vehicle there. So that's something you can add to the vehicle here. Also, uh, you can get the crossbars. So the black crossbars that go across here, especially if you have a lot of luggage that you need to carry and you have a full load of people in the car, and then you can go ahead and get those crossbars on there and it's going to protect that uh, that way as well there. You can also get a wheel locking kit. So if you want to protect these really nice 19 inch wheels here, which are the nicest wheels on any of the escapes, uh, you can get the wheel locking kit. It's going to come with four uh, locking uh, lug nuts. You would place one of those off of each of the wheels and its own special uh, locking uh, uh, socket there for those, uh, those tires as well. So, or for the wheels I should say. So that's all our exterior. On the inside, you can get all weather floor mats. So you still get the carpeted mats, but now you're going to get all weather mats. They're kind of a uh, uh, floor like, they call them floor liners, and the footwells for the front seat as well as the footwells in the back seat to protect it from snow, rain, whatever you might get into the vehicle. If you do a lot of off roading or a lot of uh, camping and kind of stuff like that, a lot of outdoors things, it might be something you might want to order for your vehicle. Also in the back, there's a couple things in the cargo area. One of them is a cargo mat. It is kind of an all-weather mat that's going to go back there, a lot like your floor liners are, that will protect that rear cargo area. Because of that rear cargo being carpeted, uh, you might want to put that back there to protect it if you put a lot of you know, muddy things or other uh, things back there in the back, plants, whatever it might be, uh, that's a great way to protect that cargo area. You can also get a cargo cover. So if maybe you put some valuables back there, uh, you can also get a cargo cover. It's a retractable cover that goes in there, also removable. You can pull that cover back there and lock it in and kind of put it into place. That way people, if they look in the back there, they can't see the different belongings you have back there. So those are all of our accessories. Again, those are going to be ordered from the factory and they'll be shipped ahead of time or you can order from your Ford parts department. Don't forget also standard equipment on all of your escapes is the warranty that comes with it. It's a three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. You also get a five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty and a five year, 60,000 mile roadside assistance. So pretty standard warranties that you see on about all of the Ford vehicles. Now, if you want to see some of our inventory, you can check out our website, lawmacarthur.com. There in each one of our vehicles, you can check for availability, schedule a test drive, you can see pictures, also a VR experience, an outside as well as an inside perspective on each one of our vehicles. You can also pull up the window stickers on each one of our vehicles so you can see the equipment that's on there uh, as well. And we also try to put in the comments too all the, uh, the main equipment on each of our vehicles too. So you're going to see that on our website. Also, you'll see our great internet price, which includes all rebates based on our zip code. If you want to check your zip code or check our inventory and make sure and confirm something's still available, you can call or send us a text message at 785-378-5031. You can also call us toll-free, 1-800-874-6316. Also on our website, we have chat service as well as tech service, so you can get a hold of us in so many different ways. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. That's what we're here for, and we're here to help you out and find the perfect escape just for you. So hope you enjoyed this video on the 2019 Ford Escape titanium. I hope you enjoyed that video and I do have a special offer for all of our uh, YouTube viewers and subscribers and that's going to be free shipping on one, any one of our vehicles to your door if you live within the 48 states here in the U.S. and we do ask that you finance a vehicle with us and we're very transparent about that and the reason we do that is that we like to provide something that's free to you so uh, shipping the vehicle to you so you can get a great vehicle from a great dealership that knows their inventory but not cost you to ship it to you uh, so that way you can get the same great internet price and get that for free. So if you finance with us, uh, the lenders will give us a kickback. So that usually covers most of the cost of the financing. Uh, that way we can still give you a great uh, internet price, which is invoice minus rebates, 
and still be able to ship the vehicle to you, uh, making sure you get the correct vehicle that you like and you want. So definitely check out our website, again, lawmacarthur.com for our inventory. And don't forget, you can also call us, at, I listed that number earlier, 785-823-2237. Uh, that's our, our local number there, or you can call us toll free 1 800 874 6316. You can also text us at 785 378 5031. So, again, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Let other people know it's a great video. I really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments down below. I read all those, respond to those myself. And if you want to hit me up on, uh, on uh, social media, you can find me. I'm at Tim Bartz on Facebook and Twitter. So, go ahead and follow me there. I have a lot of other people that that follow me and that way you have a good idea of kind of some of the things that go on in my life as well as some of the things uh, the great Ford and Lincoln products that we have here at Law MacArthur and the different videos that we're going to post as well so if you haven't had a chance yet hit that red subscribe button it's down to the bottom below the video you can also it's on that logo as well in the corner it's been uh, throughout this video you can uh, click on that or at the end of this video I'll have the logo right in the middle of the screen you can click on that subscribe to our channel hit that notification bell you get notified the next time we have a next video uploaded to our channel again Again, at the end of this, we're going to have a couple different uh, uh, videos for you to check out. One of them is going to be the 2019 Ford Escape playlist. So all the different Ford Escape uh, walk-around videos will be in there, as well as our entire 2019 Ford product presentation uh, playlist is going to be over here. So there's a lot of vi different videos there. If you're looking for some other make and models, check that one out as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the next one.